Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Evening Prayer for Sunday, January 30th. It's the fourth Sunday after the Epiphany, and the fourth week in our psalm cycle. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, how lovely is your dwelling place, O God of hosts. Alleluia, Psalm 84. And please recite it with me. <clears throat> Alleluia, how lovely is your dwelling place, O God of hosts. My soul longs for your courts. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. The sparrow has found herself a home, and the swallow a nest. She lays her young beside your altars, O God of hosts, my ruler and my God. Blessed are they that dwell in your house, they forever praise you. Blessed are they whose strength is in you, in whose hearts are the roads to Zion. Who passing through the bitter valley make it a well, the rain fills the pools. They go from strength to increasing strength. Every one of them in Zion seek God. O Most High God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. Behold, O God, our shield, and look on the face of your anointed. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a servant in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of the wicked. For you, God, are a sun and a shield. You give grace and glory. No good thing will you withhold from them that walk uprightly. Blessed are they that trust in you. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, how lovely is your dwelling place. O God of hosts. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 8, beginning at verse 22. Jesus and his disciples came to Bethsaida. Some people brought a blind man to him and begged him to touch him. He took the blind man by the hand, and he led him out of the village. And when he had put saliva on his eyes and laid his hands on him, he asked him, Can you see anything? The man looked up and said, I see people, but they look like trees walking. Then Jesus laid his hands on his eyes again, and he looked intently, and his sight was restored, and he saw everything clearly. Then he sent him away to his home, saying, Do not even go into the village. Jesus went on with his disciples to the villages of Caesarea Philippi, and on the way he asked his disciples, Who do people say that I am? They answered him, John the Baptist, and others, Elijah, and still others, one of the prophets. He asked them, But who do you say that I am? And Peter answered, You are the Messiah. And he sternly ordered them not to tell anyone about him. Here ends the lesson. <clears throat> Today's Gospel, uh, we see yet another example of Jesus's powers. You know, he turned the water into wine. Uh, yesterday he walked on water. Before that, he healed the cripple at the uh, pool. And uh, now he's made the blind see. So these are all signs, uh, miracles, that uh, prove the power of Jesus to those around him. And we see today uh, that Peter confesses that Jesus is the Messiah, even though it seems that the crowds, you know, the people that are not intimate uh, contacts of Jesus, <clears throat> they have a variety of opinions, John the Baptist, Elijah, or one of the prophets. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. 
In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia, but Israel shall be saved by God Most High, with an everlasting salvation. Alleluia. A canticle of the prophet Isaiah. Please recite it with me. Alleluia, but Israel shall be saved by God Most High, with an everlasting salvation. You shall not be ashamed nor confounded to all eternity. For thus says our God that created the heavens, Look to me and be saved, all the ends of the earth. For I am God and there is no other. Unto me every knee shall bend and every tongue shall swear. Only in me are righteousness and strength. And to me all people shall come. And all that are incensed against me shall be ashamed, and in me all the children of Israel shall be justified and glory. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, but Israel shall be saved by God most high with an everlasting salvation. Alleluia. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia. <clears throat>